Halloween 3, for example, very divisive. People can feel the way they want to do. I was so excited to tell that story. I'm thrilled with the outcome of it. Can I mention that just before we move on from that? Because sure. yeah. there is that kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing, right? Like give them what they want. And then they're like, no, I don't want that. Get, like surprise me. And then your third Halloween, you're like, okay, I'm going to swerve. This isn't about Lori anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're, then then you get, you know, we can be honest here. Like it did, did fine box office wise. You're happy, but the reviews weren't as strong as the other two. And if you're comfortable as an artist with that and that's enough, you're okay. But I've, I've spent a lot of my time. You could look at my first film, which was really critically well received and you couldn't ask for a better introduction, but it was rejected from Sundance and nobody went to the box office and it made very little money and then right. had another life when Criterion Collection picked it up. So my whole career, I'm up and down and depressed and exhilarated and I'm happy and I'm sad and I'm always confused. 